So today we're going to be replacing the radio on a 2011 Chevy Aveo. So I just kind of want to show you the process on how to pop out this plastic trim and go ahead and remove the radio, get ready to put your new radio in. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use uh, some trim removal uh, plastic tools here. And you can kind of see this line going across right here, um, down here actually. And what you want to do is try to get something that you can pry underneath here. You can use a screwdriver if you want to. I would probably try to put something up against here so that the screwdriver doesn't, uh, you know, scuff up or scratch the bottom part here. Um, I found it easier to use the little uh, rounded edge or hooked in edge there and just kind of get underneath there and I might have to try it a couple times, but pop it back. All right, so just like that, kind of get underneath there, pop it out and go over to that side and pop that. Um, you want to give it a little bit of effort without, you know, prying too hard and breaking the, the clips. Um, I've already pulled the screws out, but basically you'll have those two clips there, there and there, there and there. And then there will be four screws here, here and here. Like I said, I've already pulled these out. Um, so then just remove those screws, pull this back out and you will have your antenna cable here. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. Tough. And then there are these little uh, blue clips in here. So basically get like, you know, a small screwdriver if you have one or just anything small that you can kind of pry in there and push that little blue clip backwards. And then you'll see the little black tabs that you just push down and pull and your wire will come out and you want to remove both of those. And then there's that. So we can set that off to the side. Um, you'll need to use this again. So when you get your new radio, you'll want to get a dash kit um, and an antenna adapter. So we're going to go ahead and get our radio mounted in here. Um, so we will be right back after we do that. So now that we got the dash kit uh, put together with screws holding it in place and everything, we're going to go ahead and take our antenna adapter um, so that you can hook up an aftermarket antenna to your radio. Um, your aftermarket radio to your antenna. Um, make sure you just take that, put it on one end, and this on the other end. And depending on what kind of radio you're uh, you're using, you may have other things like USB. You might have a microphone. You might want to go ahead and get all that stuff ran at this point. Um, I do have a, a USB that I've already run underneath, so I can connect my Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and run a microphone uh, so that I can use my Bluetooth. But one of the things that you also want to get is a wiring harness for your particular vehicle. In this case, it would be the uh, Chevy Aveo. And so it will look like this on one end so that we can connect it to here and then your radio. And um, I prefer to... Uh, twist these together and then shrink wrap them instead of using electrical tape. I feel like it's much safer uh, in case you know you have your power wire come loose uh, and accidentally touch metal. You won't have to worry about frying your radio. So uh, I would suggest using shrink wrap on each of the individual wires. So get all your wiring hooked up, get that ready to go. And then these are just going to slide in kind of like they did the other radio. Make sure that blue clip is out. Slide that in there, push the blue clip in and now it's secured. And do that with the other one here and get that slide in and 
Yeah, and a blue clip. And now our radio is ready to go once we get the microphone wire ran. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the microphone wire. Um, I haven't yet to look and see how I wanna do that. Most likely I will probably run it back behind and up through one of the A pillars and over, uh, maybe on this side here, and then just set it kind of in here somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back in. Um, once that's hooked up, basically, all you're gonna do is slide this back in here. It's not upside down. Uh, and then you'll have your, your screws that you'll want to put back in those four holes and then just take this slide it back in and push until you hear it click here 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 and here and you're all set to go thanks for watching hit like and subscribe if you uh, appreciated the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one thanks what do we need to do hit that notification bell smash the like button and subscribe to the channel